Hello Cyberland. My name is Marlin and the channel is Old Fart Hacks. So today what are we looking at? We're looking at a box. Ooh, a box. Nice box. Inside the box is one of them there Chinese XY tables. This is a really cheap one. It's about 85 or 88 bucks. I'd have to go look on eBay or Amazon. It's guaranteed to be less than perfect. But let's see what we've got. Let's see if I can get it out of here without killing everything. Um, they do pack them reasonably well. The knobs for it are stuffed in a little compartment right there. Hopefully, as long as the box doesn't rip, everything's good for that. And then down in here, sorry about that, less room between the camera and the pole than a and gravity works. There's a knob on the floor. But anyway, at least it's not badly par par bleh, packed. So, tell you what. Considering I don't have room to work here, give me a couple of seconds. And I'll have this out on the bench. Hang on. I'll throw the box over my left shoulder just because. So, okay. I'm back in this one. It is now out of the box. Quick notice. First problems. There are some small rattles in it. I suspect that's because the gibbs yep, were not tightened up even. You tighten up. That's interesting. I may have to talk to them. There are marks right here where they may have just been running the mill in and out there. Sloppy. Anyway, that gib that was rattling, as you can see, these are not even really tight, and that's what's where some of the rattle is coming from. So let's see if we can get at least that rattle out. Ah, ta -ta -ta -ta. ah contact. More contact. And more contact. Much better. Does it turn now? Yep. And it moves so. And with the Gibbs finger tight, it still moves. And that does have all the slop out of it. So not too bad for that step. Well, I'll have to tighten those down so they stay about the same. How about on the Y or the this is the X, this is the Y. On the Y, not too bad. Again, the Gibbs on that adjust under here, under here, way down below. The normal, by the way, uh, be careful of all edges. They are virtually all sharp. They don't bother to, oh yeah, look at that, by the way. Good precision travel there. Um, they don't bother to properly uh, chamfer or deburr anything on these things. It feels like that y-axis is pretty even in grind. The tension on changing or moving it is staying about the same. Okay, almost where I can show you the x-axis gibbs. I could do the x-axis gibbs here without showing them to you, but just, I'm going to put a power drive on this thing. You know, hang a drill over a little motor over here, model RC car engine, and put a belt on. Okay, anyway, here are the y axis gibbs down here. And again, they're not even tight. So let's. Lightly finger tighten those. Then run the nuts down on them. Oh, X and Y are pretty good actually. Unfortunately, this rub knob is actually rubbing lightly on the bench, but and there is, I mean, if you observe the screw here, 
there is loads of backlash to be had. I don't even know if the numbers here mean anything. That's something that's going to take a while to determine, but yeah. Again, lots of backlash here too. This is going to take a lot of examining to determine exactly what to do with it. And I don't want to run this video too long. But first impression on this device, yeah, for 90 or 80 bucks, 100 bucks shipped to my door. When mounted up on my stupid little cheap Chinese central machinery drill press, I should be able to do at least some precision drilling and some light milling. I do have a light milling project on it for, that I need to do related to my Velvore mini lathe of recutting the base plate for the foot or the foot plate for the tailstock a bit. Anyway, this will probably let me do that because again, once I clamp things up, deburr everything, you know, go through this thing, I should be able to tighten things up. There are a couple of other videos out there. I may even put the links up for them talking about improving you know, notice the slight wobble in this. Uh, that one again, I said, said and this one's tighter, but it's still eh, much to be done. Much to be done. Anyway, this video is long enough already. This is again Marlin for Old Fart Hack saying, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't get caught.